G'day ladies and gents, and welcome back to War Thunder. One of the aircraft that I mentioned in a recent upload of mine about the missile power creep is the Su-25K. This is the vehicle that we're going to have a look at today, and of course, just before we begin this video, I kind of want to show you the sort of context that we're talking about here. In the video, I basically state that there are a bunch of premiums that are essentially a cash grab with really powerful missiles or some really powerful high level of performance. Now have a look around the runway and tell me which vehicle is not the premium here. There is one imposter and that is the A7D. Everyone else here is a premium. So with that said, we're going to be moving on. There isn't really much to be said about the Su-25K. It's a ground attacker. It's got some pretty poor flight performance. It's a chunky monkey. It's got a lot of armor. And of course, it's got the two R60Ms. And the R60Ms are really the selling point of this plane. It's essentially two quick and easy kills that you can get. Again, not much brain used. I've got two very quick kills here. And the Jaguar is coming in. Uh, that means that I can use guns, guns, guns. I have about 250 rounds per gun of uh, 23 mil, and I have a decent amount of cannon for the 30 mil as well. We're going to go for a little bit of a dogfight here with this Jaguar E, and the Jaguar E is pretty much going to be an easy, easy kill here. There's an easy one right there. MiG-23, Jaguar, you know, take your pick. We're going to go for a quick head-on, and we're going to be getting some kills. The MiG-23BN is looking pretty juicy, and just as I come around, I'm going to be shot at by my friendly F5C, because that's kind of what the F5C does, just uh, be, he's, a, he's a little bit of a pest. So I was just going to go for the kill. Turns out that, uh, you know, that probably wasn't the best move, but we live and we learn. So with that being said, we have four kills in the space of about a minute. So, you know, it's trade-offs, horses for courses, right? Sort of. The Su-25K is really good at getting these like super snappy, really quick lots of kills all of a sudden. It's kind of down to its slow speed, but it's also down to the ability to sort of just throw missiles everywhere really, really quickly. The Milan here is going to be our next victim, and I'm just waiting for him to get within a good sort of spot there for that missile to, to sort of go on its way. There's an AV-8 here. He's not paying attention. I don't want it to lock the, uh, I don't want it to lock the missile there. But here's kill number two here, AV-8, you can see that R60 tracking beautifully. I'm going to put some uh, throttle down for the A-10 here, I'm going to come in, nice easy kill, kill number three, and who's kill number four? Doesn't matter, I can go head on, I can go for a reversal, F-105D, looking very juicy, nice short sharp kills, and this is what the Su-25K is all about, and this is why it does so well. In a situation like this, you can really just exploit your opponents and get about four or five kills very, very quickly. Now, whilst the F-105 is essentially throwing away his plane, uh, you know, this is kind of one of the simple examples of a bunch of people sort of not knowing what to do with their aircraft. But the long and short of it is, this is not particularly uncommon. The F-105D is perhaps one of the planes that is, uh, you know, being exploited in this case, but in other times, it might be an F-86 Sabre, it might be some other poor 8.7. You never know. It's kind of a mixed bag every single time you do this sort of thing. The Su-25K is, uh, you know, too much. Just, just quite plain and simple, it's just too much. And whilst I completely fuck this shot here and uh, go for my ace, this is the type of thing I'm talking about. No single match drags itself out. And that's the problem with the Su-25. It's not good for the long game. So it's really bad for the matchmaker. If you lose out early on, you pretty much lose two easy kills. You also lose uh, a plane that isn't really that good. And, and the longer the match drags out, the worse it becomes. Quick head on here with the AV-8. That's all she wrote. I'm looking for the planes above me here. It looks like this F-4C is getting very, very juicy. So I'm gonna go for the, for the shot there. Hopefully that missile strikes home. It strikes a critical hit, and I believe it sets him on fire. Nice easy kill. This is the type of thing I'm talking about. Because you have such strong missiles, you just put the guns where you want them, and then you quickly snap to where you want the missile to go, and the missile just tracks. And then you basically end up popping a couple flares here and there, going head on a couple times, and because you have the volume and all of the, the weaponry, you don't really have a problem getting kills. It's staying alive that's the problem. This plane really sucks at staying alive because it's just not it's just not able to keep up in dogfights. The AV-8A here is kill number three. That's nice and easy. Um, and of course, when you have your teammates around, it is a little bit easier to stay alive. But it's not a plane that is good for the longevity of a match and therefore the longevity of this game. 
it's a pretty poorly positioned aircraft and being a ground attacker it simply quite frankly doesn't suit this matchmaker that 9.7 it's just it's too low it should be 10.3 or 10.0 at the very very lowest especially with r60ms being all aspect i think this performance gap is ridiculous especially when you start opening up against things like uh, sabers coming up against the saber is nothing short of unfair for the saber it's just plain and simple it doesn't have the capability to deal with an r60 let alone an r60m um, and of course it's just going to struggle to kill you it almost tops out at the same speed there's a uh, i don't know maybe like a 50 or 60 kilometer per hour discrepancy there but the su25 just has more at its disposal and it's a ground attacker ground attackers are at the end of the day not really meant to be dominating the air and in this case here su25s a10s and uh, a5s which are all supposed to be ground attackers are dominating the matchmaker which is completely wrong it shouldn't be this way it should be the complete opposite they should be getting shit on by the fighters and uh, that's kind of what happens with the a4 and i believe the a4 to be genuinely well balanced but uh, this particular plane here is a very poor example of this type of balance it needs to stop it needs to go to 10.0 or 10.3 and i think that's all i really need to say about this plane because it's very simple it's very simplistic there's just not much to it it's bomb load sure whatever i don't really care about the bomb load and i don't think you should care about the bomb load either because at the end of the day bomb load at 9.7 no you're looking for rockets you're looking for missiles and i think the su7 is a better cast plane anyway i think you're being sold short by this one um or even you know some of the earlier uh, other aircraft in that t tech tree there for the russians are probably better so ladies and gents that's pretty much it i don't have a lot more to say about this plane i think it is overpowered i think it's stupid i think it is really good for getting lots of kills in a short space of time but that's pretty much where it ends staying alive in this plane it's too hard just go get your kills get out and again whilst that's good for you it's really shit for your team and it's really shit for the health of the matchmaker because you're taking three or four people out very very quickly without using a whole lot of skill you're just holding down left mouse or you're just firing your missiles and getting a kill i find it pretty unfair and despite you know pulling a couple of aces in this video and a four kill i didn't have fun i greatly dislike playing this plane and i genuinely think that you guys might do so as well but anyway that'll do it for today a nice short one but i've pretty much said my piece so i feel that it doesn't really bear repeating anyway ladies and gents thank you very much for watching thank you for supporting the channel take care and i'll catch you next time